hatchlings, it's Dragonfeather and welcome back to day 19 of our 31 days of Samhain and for today we are going to be covering shadow creatures. So I'm going to share with you guys a little bit about what they are, some offerings you can give, uh, go over the challenge in the hatchling clan as well as provide you with some questions. So before we get into more in depth about what shadow creatures are, I have some questions for you to answer before you partake in this journey. <laughs> what darker spirits have you not noticed in your environment until now? Did you ever hand them a treat on Samhain? Did they ever play a trick on you on Samhain? Where are you going to look for shadow creatures for this challenge? So what are shadow creatures? First, it's good to know that there are two different sections when it comes to spirits and keep in mind that it is a spectrum like spirits are going to fall between either of these courts sometimes they won't but we have the dark court for the shadow spirits and the light court for the light for like the light beings basically even though it's not black and white when it comes to spirits there are these different um groupings of spirits to kind of just delegate if they are light or dark but keep in mind it is a spectrum and it isn't just black and white so the two courts consist of light or dark spirits and have a hierarchy from like say dark dragons dark fairies to like goblins and trolls which would be like the lowest where dragons and fairies would be the highest rank in the hierarchy and both the light court and the dark court have these hierarchies and it's good to just be aware of them to know when you encounter a being be it dark or light you know where it's at in the ranking and how to really address these creatures there are many places to find shadow creatures but they're commonly found in forests in caves and even if you're lucky at beach fronts and stuff like deserts and things you could probably find shadow creatures all over the place but it really just depends on where you are locally and if there are these creatures that exist. Some common shadow creatures are dark fairies, dark elves, dryads, druid, dru druidin, I think I pronounced that right, slifts, sirens, dark dragons, wisps, goblins, trolls, etc. So these are all considered like dark spirits or shadow creatures and this by no means means they are evil. Sometimes they're just mischievous and like to play tricks on us and like to uh, be sarcastic or give you riddles, but they are not evil by any means. It's really important to know that just because something is dark doesn't make it evil, and it's really important to like break that because that can instill fear in us when we work with these beings if we so choose to do so, and that fear can hold us back from actually having a good experience with them. So that's something to consider and something to keep in mind. Now that we know a little bit about what shadow creatures are, here are some of the offerings you can give them. So for dark dragons, they like black rocks, crystals, dragon's blood, incense, reputation, representations of the dragon's element, bones, black feathers, coins, coffee, dark chocolate, and coal. Offerings for dark fairies are black rocks, crystals, black feathers, nightshade plants, dark chocolate, coffee, black cloth, black candles, and hagstones. Offerings for dark elves are crystals, black rocks, dark feathers, herbs, beautiful sticks and roots, black leaves, willow braids, dark chocolate, red wine, and hagstones. Offerings for the druddin are black rocks crystals, black feathers, boxwood, twi boxwood twigs, graveyard earth, black candles, bones, black cloth, nightshade plants, and offerings for goblins are black roots, beautiful twigs and roots, mushrooms, herbs, dark chocolate, black tea, coal, naturally found animal parts, bone feathers, etc. So these are all things that you can give to shadow creatures that you wish to work with. You can either leave this at a site in the forest or in the nature where you're at for, as an offering. You can leave it on your altar as an offering. You can leave it however you feel most comfortable with to offer these things to these particular shadow creatures that you wish to work with. As the veil is getting thinner, the closer we get to Samhain, these creatures like to roam around a lot. And it was thought often that people dressed up on Halloween or what we call Samhain to protect themselves from spirits like the shadow creatures. Now, just because the shadow creatures may play tricks on you and may spook you or scare you, trust me, it's not because they're evil, it's just because they want to have a little fun and be lighthearted even though they can do it in a darker way. So maybe they won't trip you, but maybe they'll 
scare the shit out of you and laugh at you about it. So that's just something to consider if you want to work with shadow creatures. If you guys are interested in learning more about shadow creatures, don't forget to check out the post in the Hatchling Clan made by one of the hatchlings that goes all in depth about shadow creatures, what they are, what to offer them, a challenge for you to work with them, as well as some questions to answer that I cover in this video as well. And me personally, I haven't worked with shadow creatures very much. The closest I've ever really gotten to are probably dark fairies, but I don't really go out of my way to work with these dark creatures, so I really am fascinated by this because I'm learning so much and it's really fascinating and I think I might consider working with dark dragons as well just to balance the darkness with the light because I'm all about that balance, you know? All about that balance. So after you have left an offering and taken the challenge to meet the shadow creatures, here are some questions to answer for when you are finished. What creatures did you find? Make a list. What did you leave as a treat? Do you plan on inviting some of them to your ritual? Why or why not? Did this challenge inspire you? How? So that's all I have for you guys for today. This was a really short video, but I wanted to just cover shadow creatures with you and share some of information with you guys. And if you guys are interested in learning more about shadow creatures, don't forget to check out the link below made by one of the hatchlings in the hatchling clan that goes all in depth about shadow creatures as they work with them the most. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it and had so much fun sharing about the mysterious magicalness of shadow creatures. And yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and let me know or ask in the hatchling clan and we'd be happy to answer for you. But sending you endless love and positive vibes always, but until next time, Stay geeky cheeky and freaky little hatchlings. <laughs> Blessed be and bye. And it's funny that you think that I'm different when we're both made of water.